intense flames just mm. billowing towards the sky in downtown Mobile. Yeah, that three alarm fire in a vacant Dauphin Street building giving firefighters mm -hmm. all they could handle last night before they could knock it down. But it was a mighty close call. Our Ashlyn Mitchell was back on the scene today to check it all out. She now joins us live. And Ashlyn, I mean, it was just a miracle mm. that blaze didn't spread to other small businesses. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Lenise and Byron. That's all thanks to the quick response of the Mobile Fire Rescue Department. Now I'm going to take a step out of the way so you can see what we are seeing as well. But the entire building is just scorched. In fact, I can still smell that smoke lingering and hanging in the air. People in the area are still talking about what happened. Feel the heat sitting on the balcony, the debris was coming into the air. There's soot all over my truck this morning. Chase Clark was relaxing in his living room Thursday night when he was blinded by bright lights. My whole house was turning yellow and orange through the windows, bright as it could be. And I take a look out the window and there's a 70 foot fire about half a block from my windows. Wow, what, what's on fire? I don't know, man. This video taken from Clark's balcony just three parking spots away from flames rising on Dauphin Street. It really had me worried. I had to come down and see the crowd. It was immense. It was an immense flame. Then came the sirens, the call going out to Mobile Fire Rescue just after 930. Tons of people called in, people walking on the street, saw this fire, flames leaping high into the sky, called 911, the dispatchers got engines on the way right away. A vacant building next to Hoffman Furniture, part of the Hoffman Estates, taking the brunt of the damage. After an hour, the fire was out. There was damage to the adjacent structures. This building to the east sustained somewhat minor damage to the second floor. Crews did make access to that building and the other building on the other side. Cecily Utzi owns a business on Dauphin Street. It was really scary because it was a huge fire, and I know they can spread really quickly. The blaze happened just a few doors from her shop. Obviously, the you know, that building is attached to another building, and, you know, everything's so close here in the historic district, and obviously um, the buildings have such old um, materials. And now investigators are still looking into what caused this fire. In the meantime, the city is asking folks to avoid this area on Dauphin Street. The city is working with the property owner to secure the building, and that work is expected to start as soon as possible. But until then, the sidewalks and parking spaces on Dauphin Street will be closed off and barricaded, but there might be some hope for the building. In fact, the owner is working with the city on a long-term plan to save this historic structure, and those plans will be submitted hopefully by September 20th. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.